So welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Today we're doing a 2021 review of Sling TV. Now Sling is one of the cheapest services out there. Uh, they boast on three core values, affordability, simplicity as well as flexibility so sling does cost less than most of the streaming services including cable obviously they are simple guys uh, easy to watch easy to set up and as far as the, the flexibility they don't have any long-term contract you have the ability to adjust your plan and you can discontinue your service whenever you want so kicking it off in 2021 what i did in previous years i reviewed all the streaming services then at the end of the year i do a side-by-side -side comparison and let you know which one i think is the best so this breakdown we're going to go over the trials the base price the channel lineup compatibility the amount of streams you get tv quality tv guide dvr follow me user accounts your ability to fast forward and skip through commercials sound video format as well as a local channel availability without wasting any more time let's go ahead and jump into it all right let's go ahead and start with the free trial so it doesn't advertise it on the main page of sling however if you do a quick google search you'll find yourself on this page guys where you do have the option to get free tv so for the free trials you have a couple devices that you can you can experience the free tv on for your phones and tablets you have android you have your fire tablets as well as your chromebook for your tvs and players you have a lot of options here roku lg samsung android tv xbox one air tv and for your computers it is available on google chrome apple tv as well as your windows computer so let's get into the price and the channel lineup so sling has three basic packages so they have a sling orange a sling blue and a sling orange plus blue so the sling orange is going to start out at 35 dollars a month sling blue is going to be 35 dollars a month and the sling orange plus blue is going to be 50 dollars a month as far as the payment information you can see they do have a credit card option they also have a paypal or amazon so the channels are going to be a little bit different and we're going to go ahead and compare them side by side just to see which one will more than likely work best for you all right, so you can see we have the Sling Orange right here. You do get AMC, the BETs, uh, Bravo is not included in the first package. You have Discovery Channel is not included, E not included. So you can see it's basically just a, a, a mismatch of channels, guys. You do have ESPN 1, 2, and 3, which is not included in the Sling Blue. So keep that in mind. So Sling, uh, marketing, genius, whatever you want to call them, all the ESPNs are on the orange all the Fox Sports are on the blue. So if you wanted both, you're basically going to be stuck with the higher price package. So completely up to you. Like I said, I'll leave a link to everything where you can go ahead and check out all the channels and see what works best for you. As far as the amount of streams you get free channel, you can see them right here. For the Sling Orange, you get one stream. So which means that when you log into your account, you can only stream at one device at a time. For the Sling Blue, you get three streams. And for the Sling Orange and Blue, you get one to three streams. So that is kind of confusing but they did break it down that channels included only on sling orange you'll get one stream channels included only on sling blue you'll get three streams so if we break it down by the sports channel so remember that espns were on sling orange so if you're watching the espn you can only watch it on one device at a time however fox sports which is on blue you can watch it on three devices so that in itself is kind of crazy but i do understand that it is contract or whatever negotiation they have with that particular network so sling also has some extras so if you wanted to add additional channels content you can go ahead and do so so on the sling orange you have a dvr plus so this is going to give you up to 200 hours of dvr or recording time you can see that additional cost is five dollars a month you do have sports extra comedy extra news extra heartland extra and if you click on one more you also have amc as far as the sling blue same thing with the dvr you do get an upgrade there sports extra comedy kids news extra as well as lifestyle click down you do have hollywood as well as heartland as far as your premium you have a showtime which is going to be 10 stars epics cinefest cinemoj which I, I'm not sure what that is, never heard of it before. Uh, comedy Dynamics, and you do have a lot of add-ons that you can put on this, and you can see this adding up very quickly. They do have a lot of cartoon on here. Doesn't seem like they have a lot more sports, but they have most of the movie, premium movie channels covered. So you can see they do provide a free DVR, which is included in the package. That DVR is only 50 hours, and they do have a promotion where it's free as well, but after that promotion end, guys, it's gonna be an additional $5 a month. Which brings us to our compatible devices. So a lot of different devices on here. 
Air TV is covered, your Amazon Fire TVs are covered, your Android TV, so that includes your, your Video Shield TV, your Mi Box, that's covered, your Chromecast, iOS device, or your iPad, they do have certain TVs covered, your TiVo Stream 4Ks, but just know that your big streaming devices like your Apple TVs, your, your Fire Sticks, your Video Shield TVs, most of your, your smart TVs are gonna be covered, and that includes Windows computers as well. So let's go ahead and get into the TV guide and the user interface. So here we are in the user interface. And remember guys, we are checking out the orange plus blue package. So this should have everything combined. Didn't put any extras on here, but this is a package that most people choose and it should give you a great idea of what this will look like. Up in the top, you're gonna have my TV and you can see it's just a splash screen, a little bit of everything. It's gonna have your, your trending, NFL preseason, popular shows, hit movies. You have your Olympics, a dedicated area a couple other sections with things that you might like now i do like the guide on sling in the top left you're going to have the option to have all channels or you can group it based on certain categories entertainment sports movies tv lifestyle you also have a music section so depending on what you want to do but right now i'm just going to leave all the channels open uh, as far as the view you have a grid view which we're looking at right now so this is going to give you a traditional tv guide but also you have a channel view and, and from here you can see you have all the channels up top and you can kind of scroll to the right and just to see what else is available personally i don't like this view so let me switch it back to the grid now in the top right you do have the option to drop it down so today is august 25th you can drop it all the way down to the 31st so you have a couple of days to play with and scroll down you can see all the channels are right here, should be a little bit over 50. So let's go ahead and launch a channel just to see what that looks like. All right, so click on the channel, you have some information about it, splash screen, it doesn't go directly into it, but you have the option to record and uh, just to, to test out the DVR, we'll go ahead and we'll start a recording and then we'll come back to it a little bit later. So we'll just go ahead and record that episode. All right, so remember with the standard DVR, you get 50 hours. With the additional $5, you get 200 hours. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll watch this live. Within the page, you have the option to pause, live TV. You can skip ahead, you can go backwards. Uh, just depend how long you've been watching and what's actually buffered. You can see right here, it is recording. Hit on the up, you can see the other channels that, that you can skip to, as well as the different categories. Now to the right, you have your volume, you have your closed caption. You also have the option to go full screen. So next you have a dedicated sports area. You have on demand. So uh, this is going to be your, your video on demand section, TV shows and movies that's offered by Sling. So you can see there's some decent amount of content on here. Uh, let's go ahead and test it out. See if we can fast forward through these commercials. Really doubt it, but let's go ahead and see if we can start playing it. All right. So you can see that's not available at this time. So at least for the video on demand, you're not allowed to, to skip through the commercials. We'll go ahead and check that out on the actual DVR as well. All right, so have a commercial right there, guys. And it looks like, yes, we can go ahead and fast forward through it. So look like we have the ability to fast forward through our DVR, but not our video on demand. So next you have your rentals. This is uh, stuff that you're gonna pay for essentially. So you can see this one is, $19, the pay-per-view right here is $59. So you, you are gonna have the option to purchase additional content if you need to. Now, as far as the audio and video quality, you're not gonna get 4K, you're gonna get mostly 720p, 1080p in some instances. And the audio is gonna be a stereo. So you're not gonna get 5.1 or 7.1 surround sound. So for the local channel, Sling is gonna refer you to Locast and if you guys been subscribed to my channel you know that lowcast is a great service that offers low channels over the internet it is free but there's an ad free option where you can make a donation so in essence it's not free at all so sling does recommend checking out lowcast or using a local over the air antenna to get your local tv now with all that said and done you do have some parental controls you have the option to play with the quality but one of the things you guys are asking for is do I have the option to set up additional accounts? So one thing I know that if you have kids, if you have a significant other that watches different programming, you really 
want your own space you would like the option to when you load your program and it goes to sports or whatever you're into watching unfortunately there's no option to add additional accounts on sling so that's a drawback and that's something i, I feel like they should add especially with that sling orange plus blue package so with all that said sling is an affordable option to to get your tv they do offer 50 hours of dvr for free additional five dollars get you 200 hours they also have sports on sling orange and sling blue but what i found out is that if you want all the sports channel and that means fox and espn that you're gonna have to get the sling orange plus blue which is the most expensive package user accounts is a is a big thumbs down for me definitely a big fan give me the option to create my own experience and a lot of streaming services are doing that already question is is it worth the money to be one of the cheaper options and that's something you have to wait for for my side-by-side -side comparison at the end of the year in the meantime drop your thoughts in the comments let me know what you guys think about sling let me know which service you're currently using and also let me know which service you would like for me to review next i do have a poll up in the community section so go ahead and check that out vote by the looks of things youtube tv is currently leading so head over to my community section vote and we'll have another video coming up thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one